Human trafficking is considered the fastest growing crime in the world. And while it continues to grow as a major problem right here in the upstate, there's a local nonprofit that's flying overseas trying to stop it before men and women are brought over and trafficked here in the U.S. 7 News reporter Kirsten Glavin is joining us live tonight here at 7 on Main to explain. Kirsten. Well, Amy, the Dominican Republic is a hotbed for human trafficking, and it has been for years. But it wasn't until one upstate man went there and saw the issue with his own eyes that he decided he needed to do something. That was my first experience of seeing what human trafficking looks like in the third world. Persuaded by a friend to visit the Dominican Republic, Jack Eason says he saw something that could not be unseen. I saw, you know, young girls, 10, 11, 12 years old who have been made up and are out on the streets. In the poverty-stricken Caribbean nation where children are often taught to sell themselves for money, human trafficking is a thriving industry. I got on the plane and said, okay, I cannot go home and do, doing nothing is not an option now. Eason is the executive director of the Crossover Cups mission, which helps those children before they're picked up by traffickers. Volunteers from the upstate and around the country teach children English and other trades like baking and sewing so they have a healthy source of income. You could tell they pampered, like they were being pampered, and you could tell that they were on display. Abby Skull from Greenville has been twice. She says she was trained by SWITCH, an upstate organization that helps victims of human trafficking, and brought what she learned to the streets. There are two girls in college right now that most likely wouldn't have been if we didn't have a presence there. Eason says they have hundreds of children in the program a week, and while the work is over a thousand miles away, he believes it's still helping the upstate. That trade route, if you will, comes around the Dominican Republic right up through Miami, Atlanta, Greenville. If we can keep those kids from being picked up and routed through America, then maybe we're helping in both places at the same time. Wow. Yeah, and they've been doing this for several years now. They hope that they can also get involved locally with human trafficking. As it becomes a bigger and bigger problem here. Yeah, and you've covered it so well for us, Kirsten. So let's talk a little bit about the manpower that it takes to do this and do they need more people to get involved? Yes, they're always looking for people to come and help. They're always looking for donations. So anyone that wants to get involved can obviously volunteer and go over there or just donate money and help them in their cause. All right, Kirsten.